Is pain protection a scam? It's one of the most common questions we get asked at Drive and we're going to use one of our own cars to find out. You won't find a bigger skeptic than me when it comes to after sales offers and paint protection in general, so you could say I'm the perfect test case. You know the deal, you've just signed the paperwork for your brand new car and the salesperson will ask if you want to add paint protection. Is it worth doing? Well, I've taken my own 200 series Land Cruiser to a reputable business, the Motor One Group, to find out how ceramic paint protection works and if you should have it applied to your new car. It's all about protecting your paint, obviously because we've got a harsh environment um, and protecting your original paint. Nothing wrong with the original paint, but they are water-based these days and we've got a non-water-based product. So it toughens it up. It's easier to wash, um, you know, tree saps, bird poos, we're covering that in a warranty. So, so depending if you've got a smaller car to a medium, medium SUV, there can be a price difference in the, in the obviously the application side of it, but you're normally looking around for a paint only, can range from you know, $1,200 up to about $1,500. Um, and that goes on, obviously you've got to have a little haggle with the dealership. You're buying the car, you're getting a good price on it, um, don't be scared to haggle to get, to get some good products on the car. It was garaged, I'm probably washing it once a fortnight. I wash it when it looks dirty. Okay, um, not a lot of people have a, a high pressure hose, but I get the question asked a lot, can I use a, a, a Kash or a Gurney on there? It's not gonna take the product off. Once this is on, it's rock solid. It's making the paint two times harder, so it's, it gives you better washability, but also you grab your garden blower out and blow it off. It makes it heaps easier to look after. If you find some interest in it, you've got to check the warranty out. Now, whether it's my product or a competitor, um, you've got to read through that warranty. You ask the consultant that's selling it to you, what does the warranty cover? Is there any inspections? Do I need a reapplication? Um, how does the warranty process go? What happens if I've had a car accident? Um, how does it get reapplied through that when I go through a panel shop? All those type of things. A car comes with a paint warranty, but it's not a warranty for what lands on the paint. That's a manufacturer's process warranty. So whatever happens under the paint, something goes wrong in the paint process, that's what they cover. We then bring in the warranty that covers the paint. So the dealerships, the manufacturers are starting to love that because we're supporting, we're keeping their car, their, their car, if it's a Kia or if it could be an MG, we're keeping that car looking newer for longer. Um, looks good for their brand as well. But if you've got a bird stain, tree sap, bug splatter all over the front, we, re we repair that and put the coating back on at no charge. That's called the car care concierge service. My key word for it is, it's got to be a consumer usable warranty. Six months down the track, I'm impressed with the Motor One treatment for a few different reasons. Firstly, the Cruiser is easier to clean, and doesn't everyone love that? Bird droppings, road grime and mud don't seem to stick to the paint as they would if it was untreated. It looks cleaner for longer, and the water does bead off in the rain, leaving vastly less water marks when the surface dries. So in short, it does do what it is supposed to do. Could you achieve a similar result by washing and waxing your car yourself? Yes, but with a caveat. You'd be doing it regularly. Depending on how you park your car and how severe the weather is where you live, you might need to wax your car once a month, compared to me having done nothing but wash the cruiser every few weeks. So, there's a big difference to the amount of work and time you have to input. If your primary concern is to keep your paint looking sharper for longer, then quality ceramic paint protection is absolutely something to consider. I wouldn't recommend breaking your budget to do it, so ensure it fits within your budget before you go ahead. Less common paint finishes like the satin and matte offerings we've seen in the last five years or so will especially benefit from paint protection. It's often very difficult and expensive to repair those finishes if they do get damaged, and that's why Kia made it mandatory with the new EV6 if you opt for the matte grey finish. You don't actually need paint protection. It's not something that I'd recommend everybody go and do if you don't have the budget to spend on it because it can be quite expensive. So if you've got a lock-up garage and undercover parking at work, you're able to look after your car, park it undercover generally, it's not going to be such an issue. However, if you have to park out on the street, outside at the train station, you don't get undercover parking regularly, this paint protection is going to help you keep your paint in better condition for longer. The other thing that I would always recommend to people is that you go to a reputable outlet. We spoke to the guys at Motor One Group because they've been around for years, they're experienced and they know what they're doing. And 
If you've got a really expensive car, you don't want to be putting it in the hands of people who don't know what they're doing. So make sure you do your research and you go to a reputable outlet. In the meantime, as I said, go to drive.com.au for all the updates. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our latest video content and you can find out all the information about the ceramic paint protection that we've used, including as many of your questions answered as we could possibly think of over at drive.com.au.